Hey, y'all will lose your I can't believe he's breaking a sweat. <laughs> I was going to say, you may notice that I'm playing a little different banjo. Uh, we played in Ontario, or in uh, Dearborn, Michigan this spring, and in the back row, my wife was standing back there with another banjo player's wife, and a gentleman said, well, what kind of banjo does he have? He looks like he has a, a short neck, a short neck, and my wife looked to the friend of hers and said, well, let's face it, he has no neck at all, so now they call me No Neck Erickson. Thank you very much. I'd like to tell you... A little the first uh, banjo band people that there was. He had a, years ago they used to have banjo bands, one, two, three, four. And uh, Joel had one of these bands, but he wasn't a very accomplished banjo player. He could only play one song, and he could only play it on one string. And it went like this. It was a very popular song called All the World is Waiting for the Sunrise. It sounded a little something like this. for quite a while, thank you. And he got He's so frustrated, yet. he got frustrated, he thought he'd teach his wife, Martha, how to play the chords on the banjo. So he would start on the lead and then Martha would come in with the chords and it sounded something like this. First Joel would start. decided they'd uh, take their band where all good banjo players eventually wind up is down to Morgan, Alabama. Illinois. Morgan, Illinois, yes, of course. <laughs> and they went uh, to Alabama, and back in the old days, they didn't have any of the modern uh, diesel locomotives or anything like they have now. They had the old steam trains, and as the steam train took off out of the station, you could hear the whistle blow in the background, something like this. Oh. 